because every time you just purchase a rack rental session, um, the rack number changes. So it can be INE rack, uh, RS rack 1, RS rack 10, RS rack 13 and so on. So it's not every time it's the same. <clears throat> and so we have to change this and um, just create 10 scripts. Uh, I will dig into this here. As you can see, it's the same script with different name. Um, the only thing in every script that is changed is the caption of the tab, which you can see here, and <clears throat> the um, name of the device within the username. So everything you have to do is um, modify each script with the correct rec number. And as we have now a login to RSREC 15, we just have to change this into RSREC 15 and the correct password here. So, paste it. So that's a complete ready script for uh, telnetting into switch one. But this is, <laughs> I mean, that's, that's not the sense of it because every time you get a new login, you have to change every one of those scripts and um, this is time consuming this is time consuming too and um, we have to automate this too and what you can do here is use um, a uh, a uh, a little bit more advanced um, text editor in my case <clears throat> I use the notepad plus plus you can download it for free just go into Google and enter Notepad++. Go to their homepage. And on the left here, you can see the download button and you can download the, for example, the Notepad++ installer. Install the program. It's very useful in this case. And I will show you how we can use it for our purposes. We'll start up Notepad++. That's the GUI of it. And um, it's in German, I knew, but um, the uh, the buttons at the top are the same in English or every other language. Um, what you can do now, I, I can recommend to um, put all those VBS scripts into one folder <clears throat> because that makes it a lot more easier to um, change all of the scripts at the same time. Um, so... Let's do this now. You go to search and search in files. That is it in English. You can also hit uh, Control Shift F. The menu opens up and I will clear that. Um, <clears throat> first of all, choose the uh, folder where you look where the scripts are located. I did this already. Um, and you can do a search for, so what we are going to search for now is, let's check the script. We are going to search for the string INE rack because that's what we want to change. We want to change this string into RS rack 15. And we want to change all of the scripts at the same time. And this is what Notepad++ is able to do. So let's close this here. We are searching for INE REC and we want to replace it with RS REC 15. Um, you can you can um, you can replace those strings uh, to each other by clicking on that button. But if you are not sure if you entered the correct uh, uh, string, you can first do a search with uh, search all here. Hit it, and as you can see. Um, Notepad++ searches all of the files and uh, well we are right here it says INE rec it is marked red here and this is what Notepad++ is going to change so we can do this let's go to search in files again INE rec uh, we got a search for and we want to replace it with RS rec 15 and now we can say replace it all program asks again uh, do you really want to replace it and we say of course yes and there's the acknowledge 10 occurrences are replaced we click ok and check one of our scripts if everything is done correctly and there we are
iron e rack has been replaced with the correct string with rs rack 15. So now we are going to do the same with the password here. Again, search in files. Now we are going to search for um, oh, what was what was the string of the password here? I gotta I gotta take a look again. Sorry. It's ine pass. Okay, I call it ine pass. <clears throat> so search for ine pass and replace it with the password that is provided by createdlabs.com paste replace them all we hit ok 10 occurrences replaced so everything seems to be fine and uh, let's check the script is everything if, if everything is gone good here we are at router 4 caption router 4 um, login name is rsrec15 router 4 password is Correct. So this script for router 4 and all the other routers and switches <clears throat> uh, can be used for the login now. So let's just let's just test one of those. I think we can I, I think we can use this uh, this folder here. It shouldn't be it shouldn't make any problems due to a long folder name. We just edit our batch file and change the script path so this is the folder and the script is no oh, and the script now ah, come on and the script is called ine rec login r1 dot vbs so let's paste this here we hit save and start the batch file Open. Secure CRT starts up and router one is open. So we can do this a second time for the next machine. Let's or let's let's choose a different machine. Let's say switch three, for example. Save the script, uh, save the batch file, start the batch file again. And a second tab opens up with uh, switch three and let's Okay, we are we are connected to switch three and router one. So with Notepad plus plus, we have changed the uh, names of the uh, login credentials perfectly. And um, what we are now going to do is to start those scripts or let's say batch files. Um, we start those batch files um, in a uh, in parallel or in the serialized order let's say um, I prepared this already or let's uh, oh come on let's do this manually so here we have our batch file and we just copy this whole line and edit <clears throat> we just will begin with two with two lines that should be sufficient router 1 and router 2. What you will experience here is that when the batch file is running and secure CRT hasn't been started yet. I will demonstrate this to you. I will close the um, secure CRT window 